So you just installed Stalker 2 on Game Pass and you're looking to mod the game. You go into your Vortex app, but when you go and look for the game, you can't find it when you search managed games and unmanaged games. Well, here's a quick and easy tutorial on how to get it set up. What you need to do here is you need to download the Stalker extension. It is not managed default on Vortex currently, but you can get the extension. So you can simply search for Stalker 2's uh, extension you can go right to nexus and find it i'll put the link down below but a simple extension that is on nexus mods right now um, that you can download uh, right to vortex once you get it into vortex you will see it here as long as it is enabled you can go back into your games and search for stalker make sure you put in the periods if you just search stalker as one word you won't find it when you see it Make sure you check the activate button. You should see the location uh, for your Xbox games on your hard drive here. If you don't know where it is, you should be able to find it under a very similar location as mine is. And if it doesn't find it, just click on the show details and then you can manually set your location. You can also find the exact location if you go into uh, Game Pass and go to the files and it will show you exact location. You just copy and paste right in. Okay, so pretty basic, pretty easy thing to do here. There are some really cool mods that you may be interested in checking out. I've got a few pulled up here. Uh, uh, to show everybody. All right, so one of the probably more popular mods and one of the more frustrating things you'll learn as you play the game is that no traders will take your broken weapons and there are tons and tons and tons of broken weapons. Well, how do you fix that? You get a mod that lets you uh, sell your stuff, sell your broken stuff, I should say, to any and all traders and also gives the uh, kind of wasteland traders significantly more money. The base traders have unlimited money, but they still won't take your broken weapons. Well, here you go. Here's a quick and easy mod that lets anybody buy your broken weapons so you can make some extra cash especially in the early game when cash is really low uh, another cool one here is uh, real weapon names so you've got you know H and K mp5 3 um, you've got the Tavor in here um, you've got the spaz 12 really just you know gives you some more recognizable names um, on your guns and kind of keeps the realism there all right if you're like me and you hate the the radiation noise kind of floaty stuff that goes around on your screen, especially in the early game when you have no radiation mitigation um, on your armor and you don't have a gas mask, you're going to be constantly irradiated. Even in the starting, the starting town is full of radiation and having uh, the noise on your screen gets really old really fast. And this is an extremely basic, quick and easy mod that just gets rid of it uh, pretty quickly. So you can see here, uh, this guy has quite a bit of radiation and there is absolutely no vignetting uh, of the noise on the screen. Um, I got this really early on in my playthrough and it is so, so nice to not have to deal with it. Another cool one that I just downloaded that I haven't even tested yet myself uh, is readable ammo. So when I was playing in the beginning of the game, I remember being really confused when I was going into my radio menu about swapping ammo and not knowing what ammo I was and wasn't using. Uh, and this gives you two choices. You can either use a color-coded system uh, that has, you know, descriptions for each of the colors, or you can just get like a, an abbreviation system here uh, to really show you what ammo you're using and when in what gun so here you actually have right on your uh, HUD your UI while you're playing the game it does actually have the shortened name so you know exactly what ammo you're working with and there are a whole bunch of other mods you can use you know stuff like reasonable weapon degradation which you can kind of tweak how much your weapons degrade over time you know you can significantly reduce your repair costs I think I I have mine at 80% lower than they normally would be because money in the mid early to mid game is just so hard to find. You know, you can significantly reduce the health of the mutants. The mutants are just ammo sponges in the base game, and they're really unfair, especially in the early game. It's kind of crazy. Uh, and kind of the same thing with um, weight. 
everything is super heavy in the game and you cannot hold very much. Um, so I think I did like a 10% reduction in, in weight, but you could get it all the way down to zero. I'm pretty sure if you really wanted to, you know, and then there's little stuff like optimizers, some better stealth mods, um, some better gunfight physics and NPC accuracy changes, you know, nothing major. This game's only been out for a couple of days. And so Nexus, um, really doesn't have a huge plethora of change changes and major upgrades um, but there are performance tweaks you know here and there and you know the list is growing i've been looking at it for two or three days and even now it's like significantly larger than it was on launch so it's totally worth modding you know stalker is a great game and just little tweaks here and there make it even better